What's going on guys, GeoSnow right here. So in today's video, I'm going to present you some great tweaks that you can install on iOS 10.x. And we have some cool new tweaks that you can check out right now. I'm going to start with Lock Glyph X. And this one replaces the text on the lock screen with the actual fingerprint. Let me show you. You can see I'm on my lock screen right now. And instead of the text, you know, press home button to unlock, I have that fingerprint. And if I press it, you can see it changes the color and unlocks the device. And it has a couple of settings, so you can check it out. I'm going to go ahead in here and finding the uh, lock lift X allows you to change the appearance, the animations, the behavior, and you can change the fingerprint color. For example, if you wanna make it another color to match your um, background, it will simply do that. And I'm going to show you. You can see it's now completely uh, dark and you can change both colors of the uh, fingerprint and the fingerprint animated. So it's pretty damn cool, it changes that lock screen. The next one in line is Tiny Siri, and this one takes the full screen tiny, uh, sorry, the full screen Siri and makes it tiny as a banner. Let me show you. Siri, what's the weather in Charlotte, North Carolina? Okay, here's the weather for Charlotte, North Carolina for today you can see it makes it smaller and pretty cool because it has the bezels and it's not completely full screen. Definitely try to check it out. The next one is a pretty simple tweak yet very very good. If you go ahead in here it's called enable CC mood or control center mood and you have this little toggle in here that activates the mood or disables it and it's pretty much the silent mode. You can of course use that toggle on the uh, device, that physical toggle, but why wouldn't you have it right here where it's easier to access? So pretty cool, it's free, deserves to be checked out. Now the next one in line is Nest 10. This one is for folders and um, if you want to go ahead in here and probably you would ever need to create folders, I'm going to show you how to do it. Using Nest 10 you can do this and create another folder. Let me show you. There we go. I created another folder using these applications and now you can see if I open this folder it has another folder in it that has the applications and you can create multiple uh, folders using these applications. Now, speaking about folders, you can see that I'm, I'm running with some uh, rounded folders that have this little apps in here. So um, the tweak that actually creates this is called Nougat folder and it's pretty damn cool if you look at it. It really makes the folder look a little bit better. And uh, the next, next tweak in line is Speed Intensifier. I'm going to go to this tweak doesn't create something different on your device. It just, uh, it just adds some uh, functionality on the settings. So I'm going to go ahead in here on Twix and go to Speed Intensifier. You can see it has plenty of toggles that you can fiddle with and it basically improves the speed of your device as the, um, the no slow animation does. So they're kind of similar and it makes the animations go faster to give you the effect of a faster loading application. It's pretty cool, I tested the, the uh, tweak and it pretty much makes the device work a little bit faster. If you need it, you can check it out. Now, uh, the next one in line is Classic Switcher and what it basically does is to give you back the Classic Switcher. This is, this is not completely free, it was created by Coolstar. It's not uh, completely free, it gives you a free trial if you wanna try it. I have a free trial now, it says Unregistered Classic Switcher and it gives you the uh, applications in here. If you hold the application, it shows that little minus. For some reason, mine actually opens the app. But anyways, you can close the app by pressing that little minus icon. This is um, specific to iOS 6, if you remember. 6.x, 4, uh, 5, and so on. Uh, in iOS 7, uh, they introduced that little uh, Windows with the applications, and you, you need to swipe. But uh, up until iOS 7, you had this classic uh, thing that is pretty cool if you want to try it. I don't personally like it, but it's a, good, it's a good tweak to try out. And the last tweak in line is Files app. Now, if you remember file managers like, I don't know, iFile, uh, iFile was a great, very damn great file manager for iOS. Unfortunately, it's paid and, uh, well, it has a free version, but yeah, it's, it's a little bit limited, as you can see from here. And it's pretty damn cool. It was iconic to the iOS file management and unfortunately it's not updated for iOS 10. But FileZa is a full-fledged file manager, it's completely damn free and does a lot of things. For example, if I click at edit in here, 
and I take this, I can copy, move, rename, trash, and even more. I can create zips, I can see the properties, send email, create new files, create new folders, create a symbolic link. It's pretty damn cool. You can browse the files, you can change them. For example, if I want to open this file, I have plenty of uh, operations that I can do. For example, SQL Lit uh, Free Editor, Zip Viewer, Hex Editor, Media Player, Propri Proprietary List Editor, Web Viewer, Quick Look, and so on. Pretty damn cool, exactly what iFile used to do, but this one is completely free. You can open Hex Editor and get your Hex in here. I definitely like this thing and I really hope you will get it for um, for you as well because it's completely free, you can find it in Cydia. Now as I said, some of the tweaks that I presented today uh, require a special repo, for example, Tiny Siri, Lockglyph X, um, and so on. So the uh, repos that are required are in the description down below. I really hope you enjoyed this week's uh, tweaks and yeah, I really hope you will find one that fits you perfectly. Till the next time, I'm Joe Snow, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated, give this video a thumb up if you liked it, if you don't, give it a thumb down, tell me in the comment section down below what is the tweak you liked the most, and I'm gonna catch you up in the next video. Peace out!